What is going on guys? It's Armada and today let's first start off where the hell am I? I'm actually in my kitchen now. I don't know why I keep transporting all over my house, but I'm in my kitchen now on my dining table, so rip. But in this video we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2 website, which is Call of Duty World War 2 slash classified. Now I have not talked about this in my channel a lot, which is the reason why I'm making this video. And in this video I'm also going to teach you how to get a free calling card before World War 2 even came out, which is freaking crazy like it's it's pretty cool but mostly this video is going to be revolving around information and if you guys want to check this website for yourselves you can definitely do so i'll leave it in the description it does not work on mobile only on computer so if you guys actually have a computer that's available feel free to go to college slash classified in the links in the description and try this for yourself anyway when you enter the website you'll see this typewriter and now if you put it in the little milo code that he found with the invisible ink by hovering it over his stove if you put that number already then you should have a little switch with a little green light but if you didn't don't worry just put in the numbers one two zero nine one and you will get a green light letting you know that you have completed this now once you get that green light you'll be transported to a different place you'll actually unlock the decoder and you'll see this little thing saying new intel marie's journal and review personal file with a bunch of arrows on it which is something i kind of want to discuss today now we already discussed about marie's journal on another video i made previously before i went to new york but something i kind of want to talk about is the radio so if we look up here where it says new intel and we press on the radio you guys will actually be transported to a radio now you can mess with the frequency and stuff but I don't recommend to do it yet but we can go over here and press this little switch until it gets switched to a V C and then go under it and put to send now we can go over here and turn it on and it will start glowing and then we'll be transported to this we see a few dossiers and it says Recron a and Recron B. We click on the file and it opens up to possibly a multiplayer map or possibly opens up to the World War II's campaign. And if we open Recron B, we actually get some Knock, Dirt, and Toten vibes. As we can see, there's a broken little building and with all the wires and bobbed wires, it really feels an it really feels like Nocturne and Toten. In the other picture, it really heavily feels it because look at it. It looks just like Nocturne and Toten. Maybe this could be a World War II zombie, which I highly doubt because the zombies, they didn't really give out the information just yet. But enough of that. Those were super interesting, but we can go back to the radio. When we make it back to the radio, we can actually start messing with the frequency. And this will actually make different sounds of possibly in-game. It's so interesting. I love hearing on these. I'll be playing five of them now. Um, let me know what you guys think about the sounds and I'll be right back
all right guys so now you guys can let me know about what you guys think about those sounds those were the most interesting i found in the frequencies make sure to leave a comment down below about what you guys think about them but yeah that's the radio so far that's all we got for the radio but now it's actually time to get yourselves the limited edition calling card for world war ii super exciting stuff i don't want to wait you guys anymore but make your way back to the decoder which should be pretty simple and you will see five little lights on there what we're going to do is trying to light up those five little lights by putting specific codes now for some computers i don't know why they don't work sometimes when you put the right code in it they glow red i don't know why but i'm hoping that this does not happen to you guys the first code you guys have to put is g-n-u-l-v i'll say that again but just type the code g-n-u-l-v and you should get the first green light now I know this was kind of found quite a while ago but I might put that in I might as well just put that in in this video just because of how much the hard work it took to get this thing done and just because like I never really talk about the World War II zombies classified decoder thing so that is our first green bulb now it switches back to blank and now we can actually type in our next code the next code is going to be YGXSH now you're going to get that second green like super exciting stuff here the next code you want to type in is CEODL it's then going to go blank and then the next letter is IBHQB and that's gonna light up the fourth one super duper exciting stuff we're nearly there then it's gonna finally clear and you're going to be able to put the final one and the last one is QKEQW now all the lights are green and we're going to the screen is going to flicker and we're going to end up in somewhere different now we got all four of the names along with their signatures and their files and the first one we got is Crowley and these are so interesting you guys can go more in depth but I'm just gonna go over some of the things I found that were cool like the submachine gun a blueprint which is so interesting and a little map with a little red circle on it and there is a lot of information about these characters you guys can go check them out for yourself we also got Zeusman next if you guys actually want me to go more in depth in these characters make sure you guys leave a comment down below but I'm, ju I'm just going and looking at these characters but we are just mostly focused on the calling card but these characters are super duper interesting and you guys can go more in depth or if you guys want me to go in it like I just said I don't know why I'm saying it now but just make sure you guys tell me that in the comments but after we went through all those files and blueprints and maps and pictures we finally make it to first in first to win file thingy I don't know what it is and it says well done soldier now claim your calling card 1944 with a bunch of signatures on it you guys can click on this and you guys will actually be taken to a different screen and this says success you broke the code now sign in to claim your reward now this is actually the calling card which is super exciting they really didn't do anything like this before which is so awesome again you got three places you can enter in from we got playstation xbox and steam i actually signed in through playstation you guys can do this in whichever way it's super cool and on november 3rd when the game actually comes out you guys will move will have this calling card if you guys found any of this useful or just enjoyed looking at this video with a bunch of information about call of duty slash classified make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new there's a bunch of new people in this channel which is so exciting welcome everybody and i really hope you guys are having a wonderful day see you guys later peace Bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire